Something just blew up in front of me really big. Sounded big, at least. Couldn't really get a super good hook set. Good morning, guys. That fish swam right at me. Right at me. Kind of caught me off guard there. I was throwing around. Wasn't really sure what made those little bloops slash, uh, I guess it sounded like little blow ups, but that explains a lot. Tarpon, about a 15 pounder, maybe about 10 pounder, realistically. bunch of tarpon right here. Should get eaten. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's jumping in the trees. He's jumping in the trees. There's one. Got him kind of in the... Woo That's awesome. We got one. We got one. We got one. Surprised he stuck that long. Alright, a little tarpon. A little tarpon to get us started. Go, buddy, go. That'll do it. That will do it. Let's see if I can get another tarpon right here. Seems like they're schooled up pretty good. Yep, watch this. Tap. Tap, tap. Come on, eat it. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Missed that hook set. Come on. There's one. That's a bigger one. Nope. Threw it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Tree. Oh, there it goes. These tarpon are crazy. Oh my huge red, huge red! I just broke my rod. I just broke my rod and lost the fish. Don't get in the trees. Gotta use the paddle to help me out here. There we go. Whew. There we go. A lot of rain recently, so we got some current. A pipe like pushing here. We got some fish sitting right around it. Oh, that was sick. I knew immediately that wasn't tarpon. Immediately. Nice snook. Got him good so there's no fray. Looks like he's maybe 27, 26. 
Ooh. That'll do it. That is the first real fish of the morning right there. First real one. Check that out. Nice, nice snook. Probably, yeah, probably 25, 26. Good fish. Smoke that right there on the surface. All white gulp shrimp. Knew these guys like gulp shrimp, so. All right. I'll pop this out of him here. Easy. Send him on his way. Let's do this. Go, buddy, go. There he goes. Awesome. Well, good morning, guys. This is my first time actually picking up this big camera. I was trying to fish today and get a fish before I, you know, started talking. But, hey, we're on the paddle board today. It's been quite a while, quite a while since I've been on this guy. This is my boat, Rackham. Made a video about it a while back talking all about it, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave that link in the description if you guys want to learn all about this, uh, this board I'm on. Um, but other than that, we're fishing today, so yeah. I had some tarpon action early in the morning, had uh, just lost that snook there, and I actually had like a super unfortunate uh, <laughs> event happen just, just before that, actually, right before I lost that, or I caught that snook. Um, I have this Pen Fathom low profile back here with a uh, seven foot medium heavy Fenwick HMG inshore. And uh, I was working the uh, a twitch bait, a Berkeley, what is it called? Berkeley stick shad. And I, and I look over and there's a red, nice red, like right next to the boat. And I flick it over and I'm twitch, twitching hard, real hard. And he's, he's coming up on it and faster and faster with each twitch. And he grabs it and I go to set the hook and uh, snap. The rod tip broke because the line got wrapped around the rod tip as I was twitching to try to get that fish to eat and I lost the fish and broke the rod. So as much as I wanted to use this Pen Fathom low profile today, uh, bait casting reel, I just uh, <laughs> I won't be able to use it for the rest of the day. So yeah, that was unfortunate, but we got that snook right after, so I redeemed myself. Yeah, all right, let's get let's let's keep fishing here and uh, see what else I can catch. We knocked out two fish, and man, that red fish hurt. That hurt, he was probably about a 30 inch or so. All right, we'll keep fishing, we'll keep fishing, and I'll uh, probably throw that gulp shrimp, at least for right now, all white profile, works really good in this really dark water. Let's, uh, let's keep fishing and see what I can catch. Right there at the boat. What is this? Oh, perfect. Right there. I saw something shoot up on it. On the gulp. I stopped for a second and I had it in his mouth. A little tarpon all in the super, super dark water here. Ooh. It's a little bit bigger than the last one, I think. A little bit bigger. He thumped that thing. Little guy hooked him right in the tongue. Right in the tongue. Actually, no, not in the tongue. The roof of the mouth. Alright, we'll spin him around here and send him on his way. There he goes. Another little fray. We'll just go ahead and retie it right here. You guys ever have just little frays in your line? Just go ahead and retie them. You don't want to rely on that with your next fish. So I'm just gonna cut off the part that is actually just frayed and retie. Bunch, bunch of reds just shot up into the tree here. I gotta get a good positioning on them. There's probably six. Six. Of them. I need redemption on a redfish here. I'll pick up the rod and wait. They went up under the trees. I lost them. I lost them. Oh, come on, show yourselves. There's one. Got one. That was an instant shoe. Look at that. Five, six of them. Oh my, this guy's going everywhere. That was an instant eat. Instant. There's about six of them there. Just patiently waited for them to come out of this tree. They sat right under it. Come on. Work with me, work with me. Pulling me right up in there. He was probably one of the smaller ones, but man, that was sick. I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, but... Oh. I just saw him swim up in there. I said, they're under that tree. I just got to sit here and wait. Sit here and wait, and I did, and... They came cruising out right at me, dropped the gulp shrimp just to their left, or just to their right, and they just, this one just instantly whammed it. There is our third fish. That's, all, I guess, some sort of slam tarpon, redfish, and a 
Yeah, nice snook. <sighs> nice redfish. Nice, nice redfish. On the white gulp shrimp there. That's a neat color I've really never used. White, white jig head and then uh, white gulp shrimp. It should work really good if you guys can see this water is really brown here. So to them it should just kind of look tan or it should probably stand out pretty good to them. All right, bait's out. Redfish, I'll slide you right back in. There she goes. Oh, there's that snook right there. Let me see if he'll eat. Unless that's another redfish. Got him! Oh, lost him! I lost him. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. He is a little snooky. Maybe about a 15 incher. Probably gotta work it slower, but I'm trying to get him to come up and blast it. There it is. There it is. So many of these little guys. Ooh. So many of them. They will clap the gulp shrimp. This is a little guy, a little three, four pounders. I think this the rains brought them all out. They're hanging out in this mud. Gotta love tarpon. Gotta love them. We caught quite a few this summer. Got the big ones. Got the little ones. He's hooked pretty good. I think we'll be able to grab him easy. <clears throat> All right. Little, little guy. Really pretty fish, though. Perfect colors and everything. One day this guy's going to be 150 pounds. That is really, I feel like, the craziest thing about tarpon. And they behave the same the whole way. Their behavior just doesn't change. They roll, they eat, they travel, they move. Really one of the coolest fish. All right, let me back up out of here. Oh, let's keep going. Now, one thing I learned, I, I believe I read it on Bonefish Tarpon Trust, but tarpon, once they get a certain size, or they, once they, I think, I believe it's either when they mature or when they move into the ocean. I can't remember. Either one, they actually don't need to roll anymore and gulp air. For example, you see them roll all the time in the ocean. They don't actually need to. There's more than enough oxygen in the ocean. But in waters like this, when they're real little, see like that, they're rolling. Waters like this, real brown, probably not very much oxygen right now. They learn to roll. And they use that so they can uh, avoid big predators. They can sit in little tiny ditches, little ponds and stuff when they're real little. And they carry on that habit or that, uh, I guess maybe it's the instinct. I'm, I'm not sure the right word, but they'll roll their entire lives even though they don't necessarily need to. Um, they learn that by placing the tarpon in a tank with a closed, um, with basically like a lid with oxygen where they couldn't roll. It prevented them from rolling and they were just fine um, without the, you know, it's the need to roll so they really don't need to these ones i'm not sure if there's enough oxygen but they're probably just rolling because they've learned that when they're just real tiny guys and just little ponds and creeks and stuff like that i got something i got something just blind cast in there oh wait oh, that is a tiny tarpon that just jumped about five feet high i think this will be the last one of these guys today so small. Big jumps though, big big jumps. This guy, I mean, I think that second jump there was like five feet high and he's about a foot long. <laughs> he got hooked right in the tongue. Lost the gulp. We'll send him on his way though. There he goes, perfect. I'm trying to make that the last, last one of those today, but it is definitely hard to just avoid casting at them. Gotta get another gulp shrimp on. Looks like it's got some moving water right here, which would be good, good place to find a snook. Right down the middle here. Yep, there it is. The snook just aired out on it. Come at me, come at me, come at me. Come at me. Wow, that was sick. Absolutely aired out on it. Exactly where I thought they would be. Right there, this one might be a little bit bigger than the last one. 
aired out, just dr just skipping it across the surface there. It was exactly where we were supposed to be. Water was moving. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. I mean, he literally shot out like a freaking dolphin. Oh, really nice fish there. Check that out. That was sick. On the gold shrimp. Just twitch, twitch, twitch on the surface. Kept it going fast and we found a snook. Oh, that's a nice fish right there. Another nice one, probably about 26, 27. Really, really nice. Got that gold shrimp right in the top of his mouth there. That was awesome, man. That adrenaline. When a fish just flies out on your bait, oh man. That was really cool. Pop that out. We'll put this guy back. That's cool. Oh, so incredible, man. That's that's awesome. That is awesome. Big snook, big snook, big snook. I'm opening, I'm opening the bail. I'm opening the bail. He's up in the trees. He is up in the trees. I mean, he hit it and was already on the trees instantly. I gotta go up this way. That's a big fish. He's up on the trees right there. Oh my God, Snook slammed him. Snook absolutely slammed that. This is not a great spot to be because the current is pushing me away here. Oh, it's shallow, it's shallow, that's good. Oh, that was a big snook. Let's see if I can get him here. Still on. It's hung up on a branch though. This is just about impossible. On a paddle board to do this. Oh, he's still on, he's still on. He's way over there, I lost him, he shook it. Nope, he broke it. <sighs> that is so infuriating. I mean, nothing I can do there. I'm fighting a current one-handed. I'm probably a snook that's got to be 34 plus inches. <sighs> that was not pulling him out either. He was too big for a 2500. I don't think I had, I had no chance there unless that fish swam straight out this way. But he got me on the on the uh, braid. That is just infuriating. I gotta say that is infuriating. <laughs> You know, probably the worst spot I could have hooked them around every bit of structure and everything with current. That's where they live, but it's gonna be difficult to land one right there. Go out, go out, go out. Oh my gosh, I gotta do my best to keep this fish out of the trees. I gotta do my absolute best. I got slack. Oh, that snook smoked it. Come on. Don't get up in there, that's a big snook. That is a big snook. Afraid me. I'm gonna lose my mind today. <sighs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Afraid me right there after I had him out. <sighs> that one hurts. That one hurts. Right there off the tree. Little snook, little snook. I need something, man. 
Oh, my. I thought I had seen something right there, so I just kind of tossed down in there, and... Oh, he's barely hooked, too. I mean, barely hooked. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on, buddy. Let's put you back. Oh, I guess that'll work. Still eating the white gulp shrimp. They are crushing it. Crushing it today. Absolutely crushing it. I think this is my last white one, too. I might have to switch colors to, like, a brown or something. Alright, we're going to see if we can get another fish out of this uh, creek here. Or I lost that snook earlier. Oh, snook just tried to smoke it. That was a snook. He scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Thought I'd be expecting it, but... Come on, eat it again. I gotta make sure I put myself in a decent position to be ready to pull a fish out of there. Come on. Got him. He went straight up in there with the current. And try to pull him out. He's rubbing up all sorts of stuff there. You gotta be kidding me. He's stuck in the trees. I see him there. He went straight into the trees. Straight up in there with the current. I'm going to try to just baby him out here. I can see him right there. Right there. Right there. These trees are killing me. He's not even super big, but... He's probably about the same size as the ones I've been catching. Drop the stake there. Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 Another decent one. Out from the trees, man. This is about the most uncomfortable spot right here to catch a dang fish. Current ripping past these trees. There's lots of snook hanging up in here. And, uh,. Yeah, it is not not the ideal place to fight snook on a paddle board. To get this guy untangled. It probably took me three minutes there to just get, like, figure out how to get him untangled from the trees. All right, he's out. Put you back in the water. Take off, buddy. See ya. Wow. I mean, I was tangled all up everywhere there. All up everywhere. I'm all frayed up. This tree today has absolutely whooped me. Whooped me. You guys can see this water pushing past here real quick. These snookers sitting probably right here with their face that way, waiting for little things like little baits and who knows what else to just ambush here. And my bait comes along, uh, along here and they smash it. And man, it is hard to get them out. If they go straight in there, it is really tough. There's just like a million sticks right here. Check this out right here. <laughs> really big black stain right there moving up into the trees. Spooky. Spooky. Oh! Oh my god, that worked! Oh my gosh, that worked! Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. I just put on the gulp sand flea. It is just a little ball of, <laughs> that looks like a sand flea. And a black drone picked it up and ate it. I can't believe that worked. The first one I threw at too. Ate it. And I was throwing the little uh, jerk shad on them, twitching it, making, making it kind of look like a worm, and they wouldn't eat it. Got a nice black drone. 
Ah, nice black drum. Some bigger ones taken off there. That's a good way to cap off the day. I cannot believe he ate that. It's such a ridiculous looking little bait and they ate it. Sitting out here on the flat, probably eating little worms and stuff out of the sand. I doubt he's ever seen a sand flea before, but kind of big. Oh, he's kind of big. Check that out, that is ridiculous. Hold on. Whoop. That's a pretty big one too. He not small. He is not small. Oh, check that out. You can see that uh, <laughs> gulp sand flea in the corner of his lips there. That is crazy. I got those and I said, no way I will catch anything on this. Like, I, I really don't know what'll eat that. Black drum will. They like everything, crustaceans, crabs, shrimp. Let's get him unglued here. Let's see if I can just pop that right out. I put it on a same jig head I was using earlier, like an eighth ounce. 2-0. Came right out. Alright, we'll let you go, bud. We'll let you go. Beautiful fish. That's a good one. He'll probably be the last one of the day. I'll try for a bigger one, but how cool. How cool is that? There he goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. He ate this little bait right here. Just a little... It's literally a sand flea, but I mean, it just looks like a little grub looking thing. It, it, it almost doesn't even look like a lure, but it worked. It's crazy. That was so funny. <laughs> well, guys, back in the car, just loaded up the paddleboard. And uh, what a day. Those paddleboard trips are always so long and so tiring. Um, <laughs> it's three o'clock right now. I got out at 6.45, I think. So long day out standing up on and paddling around. So. I think we did really solid today. I had a lot of fun, and um, I just wish that uh, I didn't lose those two snook today and that red. I broke a rod today as well. I completely forgot about that. That was like the first thing that happened today, which that was super unlucky. I've never had a the line wrap around the tip when on a hook set. That's crazy, but it happens. Sorry, Fenwick. And um, yeah, I just want to say if you guys are new to the channel or haven't done so already, go down below, hit the red subscribe button, and then hit the like button after that. If you guys made it this far in the video, thank you guys so much. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see coming up. Winter's coming, the weather's starting to cool down a little bit, so it feels really good. Ready to do just some like different things and try to mix it up. Let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching today. I will see you guys in that next video.